welcome back to my channel welcome back for a vlog video i thought i would just sit down and vlog today well hopefully not just sit down all day but i'll just pick up the camera and vlog i've got a few new home things to show you my pax wardrobes are finally up i just need to organize them so i thought i would do that with you guys i've got a really busy day today actually i am trying to get myself into a routine so i was up this morning at seven got in the shower went straight out for a walk i thought if i just sit around i'm gonna fall back to sleep so yeah i went straight out for a walk got a starbucks of course when do i not get a starbucks and yeah here we are it is 10 o'clock i am dressed i am ready to film i think i've got like three videos to film today so wish me luck send me some love because that is going to take me a while obviously it's black friday coming up so i've got loads of content to film for different brands which i love doing so that's fine i've just kind of left it a little bit to the last minute which is why i'm trying to get myself into a routine so i don't do that anymore but here we are also it is my birthday this week which i am i'm so excited for i love birthdays so much although obviously it's going to be a lockdown birthday this year I did a poll on my stories the other day to see how many of you had a lockdown birthday. I think like 600 people voted and it was 70% of people had a lockdown birthday, which is just crazy. I mean, obviously lockdown started in March, was it? And we're here in November and my birthday is in lockdown. I was saying to Sean the other day, when we was, when we was in lockdown the first time, I thought, oh, at least I've got my birthday. Like my birthday definitely won't be in lockdown, it's November. Here we are i also want to try and get my christmas tree up this weekend so let me know if you guys want me to film that because i personally love watching those types of videos but i know a lot of people have already done them i've also got some gift guides coming your way and i don't know if you guys want me to film a what i got for my birthday video i personally love watching them but i feel like i'm just nosy so i love stuff like that but yeah definitely let me know what you guys think down below on that other than that i've just got some home bits to show you guys um we've kind of done a few bits here and there obviously i've said in a few vlogs i think we're hopefully going to be buying a house next year and um, we've just got to sell this one and then yeah hopefully we can upsize so we didn't want to spend too much money or do do too much but we've just kind of jazzed some things up with some prints um we've got a new bed which i've got a discount code to give you guys so i'll show you that later we've got our new wardrobes up which i'm in love with and i did this on such a budget i think this whole set of wardrobes cost me 150 pounds obviously you can't see what i'm pointing at right now they're huge like they're really big it is an open wardrobe because that saved a fair bit of money i'm just going to organize those later so i will show you guys that i picked up these hangers as well in tk maxx 25 hangers by the way for 7.99 i thought that was so good I think I've said it before, but hangers is one of those things that you don't realise they are so expensive. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I've got some new prints to show you guys. And, yeah, that's about it. I'm hoping to go on another walk later as well. I'm going to try and convince my mum to come with me because I just want to go. I'm really in the mood to go on a really nice, like, crisp autumnal walk. Like, loads of leaves around, all the bright colours. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's a really grey day today. So, I need to cheer myself up. I'm going to have a jacket potato for lunch i think i just want some comfort food but they're still quite healthy i'll just have like a salad jacket potato that sort of thing i'm trying to like be on a bit of a fitness journey now because i don't know i just feel a lot better in myself when i'm eating healthy not even necessarily for the weight loss but obviously that does come with it i just feel a lot better when i'm eating like healthier foods obviously i still have my cheat meals and like domino's pizzas on a saturday and stuff but just overall eating more fruit veg that type of thing so yeah if you guys want to see a white in a day anything like that let me know down below i feel like all i've asked you guys so far is to let me know down below what videos you want to see but if you want to do that let me know oh also i'm gonna show you this outfit that i've gone today it is bloody beautiful it is the comfiest material ever it's this really gorgeous like teddy material honestly the softest it's from shein um i think i have a discount code for you guys as well so i will leave that on screen if i can find it oh it kind of matches my mug you know love that i'll show you guys this in the mirror because it is a jogger and a little cropped jumper set and then i got my slippers on i've got so much to do today so i need to get a move on yeah i feel like it's completely changing the color on camera it's kind of a gray mid like petrol blue type of color if you know what i mean but honestly it is the softest material it's really nice and high-waisted the joggers which i love and you can cinch yourself in and it is just so soft and comfy the crop isn't too cropped either which i love i feel really comfortable in this so yeah i will try and leave this link down below for you guys they do do it in white as well which i own i have spilt coffee down it though so currently 
trying to get that out excuse if you can see any messy rooms in the background <laughs> need to have a tidy but yeah this is my outfit of the day with my cute little slippers Feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town So obviously what you just saw, I wasn't making a jacket potato. I used all my potatoes last night. So I have gone for a tuna salad now. Doesn't look the most appetizing, but it is so good. So this is something that I would have if I'm trying to eat a bit healthier. So we've got pasta, lettuce, cucumber, tomato, tuna, mayo, salt, pepper, a bit of vinegar, and some jalapenos and spicy sauce. It is honestly so yummy. I know it doesn't necessarily look like the most appealing thing, but it is really nice. I personally love salads, so this for me isn't just something I'll eat when I eat healthy. It's a really great option if you want a fill-in lunch with like big portions, but it's a bit lower in calorie. If you don't like tuna, because I know a lot of people don't, then you could have salmon, halloumi, chicken, cheese or just the salad and bulk it up a bit with some olives stuff like that so yeah definitely let me know if you guys want to see some more meal ideas because cooking is like one of my favorite things to do yeah i'm just going to tuck into this watch a little bit of friends and enjoy i've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight i'm letting Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me. Good morning, guys. I did so much filming and stuff yesterday, so obviously I didn't really vlog, but I got so much done. I was really productive. So, yeah, I thought I would just carry on the vlog today. I am absolutely knackered i'm so tired this morning i woke up at half six to go for a walk i said i think i said earlier on in the vlog that i'm trying to be more productive which worked yesterday i got so much done so i was like right i'm gonna get up go for a walk i did and i am so tired like i need a nap at some point so i'm just doing some editing and bits like that today so i thought i'd just carry on the vlog i did just receive this huge public desire parcel um and there's more on the bed i've been waiting for some of this because i got it on pre-order so yeah i thought i would show you guys those and then i've got a few house bits to show you guys as well like i said earlier yeah i think you guys will like these i will try and leave what i can linked down below i've kind of crushed the boxes already which is handy um but yeah these are stunning i love public desire shoes so couldn't resist at this point i do feel like i have a bit of a problem but Oh well, we move. These are the first pair that I picked up. How gorgeous are these? So they are, I think they're a thigh high, but they're the ones that are a bit looser on the leg, which I like because they don't fall down because they're a bit more structured. I thought these were really nice. I'll just bring them closer. Can you see? Is it going to focus? Hello? Oh, there we go. See, so yeah, it's just like a, I'd say it's a snake print in this cream colour. And it's got a block heel, which is my favorite because it's just so much more comfortable to walk in so yeah absolutely love these i'm pretty sure they did them in a chocolate brown as well i spent was it chocolate brown or black no it was they did them in a chocolate brown i remember spending ages trying to decide which ones i wanted because i feel like brown is everywhere at the minute so you never know i might grab those as well um but then i picked up these boots now i have some like this but in brown um, but obviously these are everywhere at the minute so i picked these up in white i think these are so cool just with some leather trousers or something um what size do i get these in a size six they feel really good quality as well actually 
and they're really sturdy i'm gonna send a couple of these pairs back but i just wanted to have a little variety to choose from you know um so yeah they're those if you're looking for something in a darker color though as i said i picked them up in brown so i will leave those linked down below for you guys as well i think they were from ego but they are gorgeous and they're like faux fur on the inside so recommend those oh i forgot about these so these ones i picked up are like an ankle boot i thought these were just so cool they're a square toe which i really liked and they're a really little heel which is perfect because i just hate walking around in massive heels i find these so much comfier or if i'm gonna wear a bigger heel like the block heel is fine i thought these were really cool they've got this chain rope around them you can remove that though i'm not sure if i love that or if it looks a bit cheap let me know what you guys think down below i'm not sure on these i do like the actual boot though like the color's really nice it's sort of a an ivory sort of shade i'd say it's a really light cream so yeah i like the color and stuff i'm just not sure on the chain so i'll see on those and then where can i even put these and then i've got i got two pairs of these but i picked them up in different colors so what one is these oh yeah okay so this is the i guess it's a tan pair these are everywhere at the minute i think um basically people have taken inspiration from the zara ones you've probably seen them i think they're a khaki color on zara but yeah i thought these were so cool they're almost like welly boots which is perfect because it's so boggy outside at the minute and um, when I go for walks and stuff, things like this will be great. And obviously they're really in fashion at the minute. I personally think these are really cool. I don't know if everyone will love these. They're probably like a Marmite item. These are a six though. And look how chunky they are. Proper like monster shoe. Definitely let me know what you guys think of all these shoes down below. Because as I say, I'm going to have to send some back. I might even make a little TikTok or something with these. That could be quite cool. Oh God. Okay, what colours did I pick these up in? Oh yeah, and then I just grabbed these ones in a black. I think I prefer the black. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. I don't know what colour I prefer. I'll only keep one. I think the nude are a bit more... They're different, aren't they? But these would go with so many, so much more in my wardrobe. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. But one thing I will say, this is a really soft leather it's almost like a spongy foam on the inside mm, not sure they don't have a zip though don't know if my chunky foot will get in these without a zip so that'll be interesting i'll let you guys know in a bit but yeah thought these were cool as i said i've seen them everywhere at the minute they're almost like um ugly but they're in fashion so i love them at the same time do you guys know what i mean isn't that so weird like that ugly trainer trend before it's like dad trainers isn't it but now everyone loves them so yeah, that's those. And then last but not least, picked up a pair of trainers because I live in trainers and I thought these were really cool. One thing I would say is these are so heavy. Like they feel like they've got a weight in the bottom of these, but they give me Yeezy vibes for sure. And I love this sort of gray color that they're in. So yeah, that's those. Hopefully they're comfy because they do feel heavy, like I say, but I'll update you guys down below or i'll try them on in a bit for you thought these were cute i'm pretty sure they do these in a beige as well i love that like new sh shoe smell is that weird so yeah that's my little public desire haul i need to narrow down like i say and choose what ones i'm gonna send back and which ones i'm gonna keep do you know what the more i look at these i think they're growing on me i think i love them i think they might be saying i have the um restock alert on the ones from zara but it really annoys me the restocks on zara come in they email me it's like your item's back in stock and then i click on it and it's already sold out zara's just mad at the minute isn't it i do actually have a zara haul coming your way guys as well so stay tuned for that i might even do a little giveaway because i haven't done one in a while um also i've decided i think i'm gonna do um i know i mentioned about showing you guys my packs wardrobes and stuff but i think i'm gonna do that in a separate video so i can do like an organize and declutter with me and yeah sort of just go through it in more detail because i posted it on my instagram and a lot of people asked if i could do a whole separate video on it so i think that's what i'm gonna do they're looking a bit dire at the minute i will show you quickly so this is what they are looking like so i've got a hanging rail here hanging rail here excuse all the mess down here that's what i mean i need to sort it out and then i got another hanging rail here it kind of looks like it's bending but it's not it's just the type of hanging rail it, like connects in the middle and then a set of drawers down there a little pull out trouser thing and then a hanging rail there so yeah there's loads of room now like i need to fill it i've got more stuff under the bed so 
need to put that away and I've got boxes under here full of stuff I just need more room like we need a house we've really outgrown this flat now but this is gonna make such a difference I think I will organize that with you guys in another vlog in another vlog in another video same thing I'm just gonna pack all this stuff away and then I'm gonna show you the new bits that we have in the house because I have some really exciting discount codes for you guys which I think you will love okay first update is our gorgeous new bed I know I said about it yesterday but a reseller in really kindly really kindly gifted this to us um things like this are still such a pinch me moment for me like someone has gifted me a bed like a bed sorry but um yeah they've given me a 50% discount code for you guys to use so I believe it's Ashley T50 I will double check and leave whatever it is on the screen but that will save you a 50% off any bed and they have just started doing mattresses as well so any bed um as well as any mattress which is mad 50% off is so good and it's not what is going on with my hair and it's not even like the beds are ridiculously expensive to begin with they're actually quite reasonable so we went for this one it is the wingback bed and we got it in a double i love this color so i can't remember if it's called charcoal well i think it's charcoal i'm pretty sure um if it's not i'll correct on the screen but it is gorgeous i'll just show you a closer look of the headboard so it's this really lovely soft velvet material with the buttons and then as i say it's just a wingback style which is amazing it also has an ottoman storage i will show you but please don't judge me it's very messy under there let me just pop you up here you literally just lift it from the bar underneath and then you've got all of this storage and it's on gas lift yeah really handy you can get so much under here i've got like deep boxes um my summer wardrobes and bits i'm selling on depop so much can fit under here which is great because as i say we've kind of run out of room in this place it is really strong as well like it's not going to fall on you or anything it's so hard to get down let me do that <laughs> okay <laughs> love the bed it is absolutely gorgeous it just has um chrome feet on it and then all of the sides are just this plain velvet material yeah thank you so much to arista for sending that over to us i will leave my code on screen for you guys also got these cushions by the way from tesco the other day unreal they are so soft and they literally are a perfect match for the bed which i think they were like eight pounds so they weren't bad at all really happy with that and then god i'm out of breath honestly um we've kind of jazzed up the living room a little bit as i said earlier um on in the vlog we are going to hopefully move next year so we don't want to do too much but we just wanted to make it a little bit more homely so i'll show you that now i don't know how much i've actually ever shown of our flat before so i might do like a apartment tour maybe a flat tour um if you guys want to see that so first of all we've got these new curtains they are floor length these are from ikea if you guys want some affordable curtains that are blackout and they're just simple these are the same ones that we've got in our bedroom we have them in like a cream in our bedroom but we got them in grey for the living room and they just make it look so much homelier. We haven't had curtains there for ages. So yeah, that's the first new little addition. I do want to get a new curtain pole up there. I think I'm going to get a black one. And then we also have got these new prints. Now, these prints were sent to us from Fi. They have over 1,500 prints, which is just mad. There's so many on there. I picked out these ones because they're quite simple, but they do tie in with our theme. So very neutral, like greys, a little bit of blush pink. These already come framed as well, which is so handy. So I literally just put in free nails on there and we were good to go they have really kindly given me a discount code for you guys to use as well so it's not actually a code if you just click on the link i will leave it down here in the description box then that will save you i think it's either 20 or 22 percent but basically if you click on the link then you've got 72 hours to use the discount it will like activate it that way for you which is great so yeah they really kindly gifted those to us i'll just show you them closer because they are so lovely as i say they are really simple but we really liked them also they really kindly sent us over a fro for the bed that i just showed you probably should have showed you that a second ago but i'll show you it now it goes perfectly with the bed as well so this is the fro they sent us i absolutely love this it's really simple but it goes perfectly with the new bed it's just got these tassels on the end here which i love it kind of gives it a bit more of like a boho type of theme but it's still really modern it's just got the charcoal gray i think is this called an aztec pattern i'm not good at stuff like this i think it is it is a thin material but it's not meant to be a blanket i don't think literally just as sort of like a 
fashion fro. So yeah, I will leave all of the information for Fi down below with the discount link. Let me know if you guys purchase anything. They have so much on there. They do rugs, fro's, cushions, prints, um, even some bits of furniture. If you do want to purchase anything, then feel free to use my discount code. But yeah, other than that, I am so flippin' tired. I need to film really, so. I might just suck it up, maybe have a glass of wine. This isn't a flattering angle at all. And yeah, get on with filming a little bit more. So I won't end the vlog just here, just here in case I do vlog a little bit more later. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of video because I never know if you guys want to see this or not. Obviously, as I said at the beginning, there's not loads that we can do, but when we are out of lockdown, hopefully soon, then I definitely want to get a lot more into vlogging when I go out places and when I'm with Sean and stuff. I was just laying here finishing my vlog and I completely forgot I had the iPhone 12 Pro Plus delivered the other day. That is such a mouthful. Um, and I posted it on my story the other day and so many people were saying, is it any good, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I thought I would show you what it looks like. I mean, I'm obviously not a phone expert, but it is definitely better than my iPhone XS Max, especially the camera, it is unreal. Apparently the nighttime feature on it is incredible. So. Here's the difference. This one I think is in gold as well, but you can see they're completely different gold. So this one is the new one. It's like a matte gold on the back, but then the sides are actually gold. It's kind of picking up silver. But yeah, look how smart the camera looks. I think it looks so nice compared to this. This looks tiny. That's that. I think it's a little bit bigger as well, you know, because my other case didn't fit on it, but look how nice it looks. And also, they're both up on full brightness. Can you see the difference? Really happy with it so far. I just need to get a nice case for it. I saw a really cute one on um, Skinny Dip, so I might just buy that because at the minute I've just got this rubbish little one from Amazon, but it was the only place I could find that did next day delivery and I obviously don't want to smash it because that's what I did last time and I broke it. So yeah, I'm going to try and look after this one, but yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys that. Other than that, I think I'm just going to round this vlog off. So I'll leave everything linked down below for you guys in the description box, including the links for, like, the bed and stuff like that. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!